I feel like I'm making one too many videos complaining. But this irritated me yesterday. I was at Walmart yesterday. And for some reason, my camera wasn't working. So I didn't talk about it. So I'm talking about today. <clears throat> and I was in line. I had done my groceries. Now, I know it's my fault for going to Walmart. Because they have constantly, you hear me, Walmart? Constantly disappointed me. There was like six people in a line, in every line. And you have all these boxes with very few cashiers. And the cashiers that are there, now, I'm sure it's a hard job. I'm sure they have, they have, I don't know, maybe they have no encouragement to hurry the heck up. And they're like, beep, beep. Very, very slow. <laughs> and maybe this is my mind, maybe it just looks slow. But no, they're slow. I've been to their places where they're like, boom, 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 boom. You know, because uh, um, I don't know, maybe they have like, a, they, you ring up so many people, you get like a bonus. But I've heard about the practices of Walmart before online, how they can be a little shady, you know. I mean, and, I, and I get it because to keep the price low, you know, everybody shops there. But yeah, that's the number one problem. Like there's so many people looking for work. If you know your peak hours, hire people Excuse me for that peak hours, you know, open those boxes up. You have them there. There should be no reason why I should take longer in the checkout line than I do shopping. Anyways, so me and my sister have, like, I think, like, when you have a pet peeve or, like, it's like Murphy's Law, like, it's just, it just comes after you. It's like, I was waiting in line. Well, like, first let me talk about, like, a few months ago. Also, my sister shopping that thing at Macy's. And, <laughs> and I was looking at some shirts. And it was, like, this little shelf front and back. And I was in the front. And this young kid, he might have been like 18, um, comes around and then like, like really like goes between me to get like these shirts and like right next to me, like really close. I was like, dude, you can go look at the other section while I'm looking here. Then I'll, you know what I mean? It's like, you don't have to be up on me. And like when you check out at grocery stores and I'm still, <laughs> hates this too. Like yesterday I was checking out and these young girls, they were like maybe 16, 17, it was two of them. Um, if I can smell your breath, you're standing too close. Like, I can tell they were eating m and I wasn't even looking back. I was facing forward, looking at, these, like, the lady trying to, like, give her eye contact. Like, maybe hurry up. Maybe, I don't, know, I don't like to have pressure because I know what it is to have pressure. But still, anyways, they were behind me. And they were munching, munching, munching away. You know, they kept on talking. I don't know what they were talking about. They, they got one of the magazines. They were talking about the Kardashians or something. And then... <laughs> I was like, oh, they're eating M&M's. And like, I can like, smell it. like this aroma coming to me. It's like, and they were really so close to me. When it came to me putting my stuff in the conveyor belt, I wasn't even done putting everything before, like, the girl put her hand up on it. I was like, oh, girl, do not put your stuff on it. Oh, and before that, before that, um, I get into line. And this has happened to me too often. Like, it's, when I lived in East LA, this happened to me all the time in East LA. And... It's an awkward thing when you see somebody else walking towards that line, but you're closer. And this lady had like three things in her hand. And I got there first. I, was, it was, I kept my distance because I like to keep my distance to people. I don't want to be up on them with my shopping cart. So I kept my distance. And the lady came in and completely cut me off. And I was like, mm. I had like maybe like, what, 30 things in my cart. So it's like, I usually let people in. If I see you with one or two things, go on in. But ask me. Do not assume just because you have two, three things in your hand, you can just cut me off. And she was just like looking straight ahead. I was just like, <clears throat> okay. And I just left. I was like, I, like I, I, it made me mad. I was like, you know what I mean? I was like, I would have given you the go ahead. Go ahead of me. You know, you have three things. You don't want to win this line. But the fact that she like completely saw me coming through the line, saw me get there first, and then cut me off. I was like, okay. And then I was thinking when I was in the line, I was, I was thinking about like all the things that irritated me. You know, these girls were right behind my back. I was like, I always had the worst luck with this. And I always had the worst luck with always choosing the line with someone paying with a check. And the person in front of me pulls out a checkbook. Now, it didn't take that long. Usually it takes forever because they went to the ring and everything up. They take a checkbook, they write it out. They have to take out their ID, they give it to the lady, they go through the little thingy. And like for me, especially at Walmart, you can do this. You take out your debit card, swipe it, put in the, de the your little number before they even finish ringing you up. So once they're done, the receipt just comes out. 
and you're free to go. It's like I try to make it as fast and as easy as possible for everybody, you know. I don't know, it's a little distressing. It shouldn't be stressing, but I do I, I do get annoyed when they do that. Uh, and people be, I don't know, my Walmart is a little get, I mean, one Walmart, what Walmart is in ghetto? <laughs> Uh, I remember this one time this one guy was trying really hard picking up this one girl in front of her mama. I was like, wow. It was just like, so what's your name? <laughs> I was like, oh, and so, anyways, that line was too long. And then he, like, I, he obviously the girl wasn't interested. He went to another girl and then he left the store. So I go to another line because that line was taking too long. And then I hear, as he's, I hear, like, I'm waiting right here behind me. So let me say, too many goddamn color people up in here. Oh, I was like, whoa. So I turned around, and it was two um, white gentlemen with no hair. I was like, oh, damn. You know, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, they said it kind of loud enough for people to hear. I was like, are they just looking for trouble? It's like, you know, the majority of people were of color. And it was just the way they said it. It was like, whatever. But anyways. Let me know what your little peas are about when you go grocery shopping, about shoppers going mad or misbehaving.